Hello, and welcome to the World of Subways Volume 3. My name is Grey Wolf, and I will be taking you through a quick start guide here for your Sea Stock train. As you can see, we have our Sea Stock train here, and we are at the station Hammersmith. Uh, in a moment, we will be going over some simple controls, as well as how to get your train started for your journey. Okay, now when you start off at any station you decide to start at, you start on the platform with your train off. No lights, no heater, no power. It's basically sitting at the station. You usually start in the direction your train is going to travel, so you'll be starting at your first cab where you must travel in that direction. What you're going to want to do is walk and or run to the rear of your train, to your rear cab because on these trains they have rear red indicators which let other trains know in tunnels danger there is a train here now your first cabs have controls for your rear indicators but it's for that train car only which means you would turn on your rear indicators on your first car which is frowned upon so what you want to do is move all the way to the back of the train use your left mouse button to interact with anything and everything you press C in the cab to stake a seat. What you're going to want to do is hold down your left shift, left click to this control panel. Now you see here you have your left and right rear red indicators. Left click on those while holding shift to switch them on. Press space to return to your seat. Press C to stand up and take a walk outside. Please remember to close your door by left clicking on it. Now as you can see your rear indicators are on. You are now ready for the trip. So what you're going to need to do is walk or run all the way back to the front of your cab. You can run by holding down left shift while holding down W to move forward. Okay now that we have our rear indicators on. Let's go ahead and get the train set up. Start our journey. Return to the front of your train and take a step inside your cab and take a seat. Now there's a few steps to this. Doesn't take very long, but we'll go ahead and run through it. We have here our traction brake controller, our gauge panel for our miles per hour and brake pressure. We have our selector switch, our whistle, and our wiper control and our digitized voice announcer which we will go over with shortly. What we're going to want to do is get the train's power on. Okay. Press tab to bring down the throttle into the on position and press arrow key up in order to basically turn the train's power on. What you're going to also want to do is bring your selector switch by pressing page up down two notches so now your train is in the drive position but with your braking it won't go anywhere you're going to want to press the up arrow three more times in order to start building up brake pressure while that's working let's get the rest of your train started uh, hold down left shift and left click to come to this panel here you're going to want to turn on your cab light your destination display light your dashboard lights your headlights and your in your cab air vent feel free to use this knob to switch off the cab lights which are up in the corners uh, ignore the brake test for now since I haven't learned how to do it yet we'll go over that another time now with all this set on our cab is ready to go but the rest of our train is not as you can see so go ahead and take a seat left click to this panel turn on the heater for the passenger area and turn on the lights take a look inside and you see your passenger compartment is now ready to go close your security door have a seat now let's set up our display destination board what you're going to want to do is left click this lever until you get to the word circle line taking up the whole field as this is the circle line there you go now let's go over these row of buttons here red and black buttons 
This light indicates that your doors are closed and that you can move the train. When it's bl lit blue, then you can move the train. When it's off, that means you can't move the train because the doors are open. These red buttons, either one, operates all the doors on the left-hand side. This black button closes all the doors on the left-hand side. Same for the right buttons. They open and close. Since we are at the station, what we're going to want to do is open up our left-hand doors. Our passengers will begin to step inside. Now, left shift click to the digitize announcer pad. Follow its instructions. Press program to start. Select your route by using number pad 2 or 8 on the keyboard here. Go to circle line outer rail, press enter. Your start station is Hammersmith, press enter. Your destination station, however, is Edgware Road, press enter, and press enter at the starting station. And there you have it. Your train is now ready to go. However, you cannot go until your departure time. So you're just going to have to watch and wait. Okay, you've reached your departure time and you are now ready to go. To depart from the station, make sure you're looking clear. Come up to the automated system announcer. Press 1 to make the announcement that the train is ready to depart. What you want to do is hit the black hit the black button on the left hand side to close the doors. Look out to make sure everything's clear, everything looks clear. Put throttle in the first position, get your train on the way, make sure you close the driver's side door. There you go. If you have followed my instructions, then you should now have your train moving. Your destination display set correctly. Your rear red indicators are on. Your announcements will announce correctly. And basically, you shouldn't have any trouble. All you gotta do now is follow the posted speed limits and get to your stops on time and pick up and drop all passengers. Next station is Goldhawk Road. I've hoped you enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I've enjoyed making for you. Once again, this is Grey Wolf, and I will see you all again soon for the next tutorial. What will that be? I don't know yet, but take care. Baker Street.